Hello and welcome back to another bridge tutorial for making Minecraft add-ons. In this episode I'm going to be carrying on from the items tutorial and making a new food. So we've already added in this green apple. If you haven't already then go check out the other video on how to add in a basic item. Um, but what I'm going to do today is turn this item into an actual piece of food. So in the behavior pack up here we're going to go into items, we're going to go into our green apple and you can see here everything that you should have for a basic item. So the first thing I want to do is just minimize those bits we don't need. Okay, and then I'm going to click on components and we need to add all the bits and pieces that allow this item to become a food. So in here I'm going to go for use and if you look we've got use duration on use on on use use animation so we're going to use a couple of these the first one i want to do is use animation and that's because when we use it we want to we want the game to work out what animation it's going to do so if i now click on the add value we've got bow eat drink crossbow camera i'm not sure what a camera is but because this is a food we're going to go for eat okay i'm then going to go back into add object and you can see here that we've got use duration. So I'm going to click that this time and then add a value of 1.6. So basically all the food within Minecraft has a use duration of 1.6. So we're going to keep consistent to the game. We're going to add that in. Okay. The next thing I want to do is we've got our animation and we've got how long it takes to eat, but we need to actually add the food component okay and once you add this this is going to give us a few options so you can see here we've got on consume so this could be that you create an event that when it's eaten it it does something whether that be poisons you like a poisonous potato would or you get your effects from the golden apple that's basically tied to the on consume but we're not going to do that this episode the nutrition we will be using because that's a basics of food can always eat so again this is like the golden apple you can always eat the golden apple but we're not gonna we're not gonna do this this is just a basic apple we'll only eat it when we're hungry and then we have the saturation modifier which is like the hidden part of food i'll explain that when we get to it but for now let's go for nutrition and this is how many of the food bars it's going to fill up so down here add value now an apple normally is four on its nutrition cooked beef is eight so cooked beef is a lot more nutritious and then you have a golden carrot which is six so i'm going to go for four to keep it consistent with a normal apple then i'm going to come back down and pick the saturation modifier now here in the add value box you're going to see instead of having numbers we've actually got poor low normal good max and supernatural so the saturation is a bit of a hidden um, bar that you can't see in minecraft normally but it's how long that food lasts so for instance an apple is low okay an apple doesn't fill you up very much and it doesn't last very long cooked beef for instance is good but a golden carrot is actually supernatural. So even though a golden carrot may not fill you up as much as beef, it will keep you fuller for longer, if that makes sense. It's the difference in real life between eating lettuce and a potato. Okay, you could fill yourself up on lettuce straight away, but half an hour later you're going to be hungry again. If you fill yourself up on potatoes, it will last a bit longer. So being an apple, I'm going to go for low to keep it consistent with normal apples. And that right there is the basics of how to add a food item so i'm going to save that Control and s um, i'm even going to close that sometimes i find it helpful to close it because if you have changed something in here and you go to close it and you haven't saved it it will prompt you to save it first so now that that's saved the pack is all updated i'm going to open up minecraft and i'm going to go back into the world that i used for creating the item itself So ignore the errors at the top, that's because I've got an RTX pack installed. But you can see all the apples here. And if I right click on this apple, 
we're gonna eat it. We've got the animation, it makes all the sounds. And if I go into first person, you can see there it's working. And that is basically our food. What I'm gonna do is just quickly, I'm gonna go game mode survival. And I tell you what, actually, let's go up in the air a little bit. There we go. Let's do some running around. So I'm in survival. I'm playing like I normally would. I've hurt myself a bit. I'm hoping my food bars are going to go down. But you can see at the moment, I can't eat this. I could before because I was in creative. But I can't right now. Okay, so I've dropped myself from the sky a couple of times. Kept giving myself damage. And you can see there that I'm getting hungry. My hearts are down. And now when I eat the green apple... You can see that it filled up our heart, our food bar. And there we go. That is how to add your own food item into Minecraft. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button on the way out. And until next time, take care, stay cool. Bye-bye.